Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? I'm fine. So fine. Hey, hey. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to. It's my pleasure to meet you. Well, let us let us uh, wait a little bit so that we can interact with all of the participants. I don't know how many you are. Let me see. I will check list attendance. And just to see how many participants are going to interact during these sessions. Let me see. As you are 22 people. Good. 22. Well, meanwhile, the people gather. I think it's a, a, it would be really nice if we start um talking a little bit about ourselves or at least to say our names in English and to say hello right now you are in basic English uh, level number three and I and I know and I and I know that you have been uh practicing English for, uh, for during 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 these days <laughs> is that right <laughs> no, teacher, I don't understand. <laughs> no, you, you don't. Okay, now you know. You know. I Let me see. No, you don't. You speak understand. slow, slow, teacher. Uh, please. <laughs> I will speak slower. Okay. Please. So, no, we are going to say our names only. Okay. We're going to say hello. We're going to say our names, and that's it. Is that right? Is that, is that okay? Hello, my name is Armando Albanese. Hello, Mr. Albanese. Hey, how would you like to be addressed? Like uh, Armando, uh, me... Antonio, or Mr. Albanese, or I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Like in my case, for example, my name is Enrique, and everybody calls me like like Kike. Okay, teacher Kike. Okay, but in your case, your name is Armando, but I don't know if people call you lie. My family is uh, um, I don't know who say medicine or, or me uh, they, they call me? They call me uh, Tito. Ah, Tito. Ah, okay. Okay, nice to know. Okay, but Armando will be all right. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> now let me see. Anybody else who wants to introduce in the class to say your name? Say hello to everybody here. Hello, teacher. My name is Diana. Hello, Diana. How how are you? I'm fine, teacher. My my can is off because I I I sick. Are you sick? Oh, I'm sorry to yes. know about it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so now I know that you that you don't have any technical problem, but you have a problem with uh, with with something else. Okay, but it's a pleasure, uh, Diana. Right, Diana, Diana, or Patricia, or Patty. How would you like to be addressed? <laughs> Um, uh, my family told me, uh, Patito. Pat I think, I think <laughs> it would be really nice if we called you Patricia, right? Uh, Patricia. <laughs> okay, so Patricia will be all right. Excellent, very good. I like this, I like this group, okay? <laughs> so funny, teacher. <laughs> yeah. This group is very active, it's very energetic, and that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Anybody else who wants to say name, last name? 
Anybody else? Little by little, we're hello, gonna. Teacher. Hello, hello, hello. My uh... name is Floricia. Hello, Floricia. Um, este, my nickname is Croquet. Así es. Yeah. Nickname is Flor. Flor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. Now, uh, we, uh, so that means that we can call you Floor. Yes. Okay. Floor will be all right. Nice to meet you. Excellent, Floor. Anybody else? Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else wants to say he is her name? Uh, and to say, good evening. Good evening, Ronald. Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, oh, no, it's Rommel, uh, right? I'm sorry. Yes. Name is Rommel. I'm new in this course. Good. I'm new in this course also, in this course yeah. also. <laughs> Excellent. Romel, right? Can we call you Rom Romel? The people normally call me Romel or... Romel will be all right. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Anybody else in the group who wants to introduce to the class, to the to the basic level English um, number three. Well, we have more people, like 19 people. As far as I know, you're 22. Well, I will check list attendance. That could be the first thing. Now, when you listen to your name, they say, hello, teacher. You say, present teacher. They say, here I, here I, here I am. Okay, but let me know that you are in the class. Okay, I will check list attendance, people. Okay, you know, list attendance, right? Now, for okay. example, I have Graciela. Here I am, teacher. Okay, Anderson, Jeremy. Armando, Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Good, Blanca, Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Present teacher. Cecia eh, Martínez. I'm here teacher. Good. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Elmer Alexander. Present teacher. Elsa Noelia. Here I am. Good. Flor. Floricia, right? Present. Ingrid. Jaime Ivan. Karina Jamilet. I'm here, teacher. Que Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Excellent. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Okay, Maria Imelda. Here I am. Okay. Uh, Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Good. Marisol. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson. Present teacher. Okay. Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. And Wilfredo. Present teacher. Excellent group. Hey, this is a this is a big group. Hey, now, uh, well, before starting uh, to the class itself, I will I will try to introduce the curse, by right? Okay, I can see Aníbal there in the chat and also Nelson. I saw the message, okay? Uh, I will try to introduce the, um, the curse by presenting something here, which I consider is very important. I'm really glad to see you here. Now, I will introduce myself in a... In a couple of minutes. Okay, and uh, just give me a second because I have it over here. Now, can you see the information? Yeah, sure. Yes. Now, I think this is like the third yes. time. This is like the third time you see this presentation. I mean, this information. Okay, so we're, we are starting with our basic English uh, course module number three 
You know, my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales. You can call me Teacher Kike. You can call me Mr. Morales, okay? Or you can call me Mr. Enrique Morales would be all right. Okay, so there's no any, any problem, okay? So uh, I'm really glad to meet you. Uh, we are starting a new journey, a new a new adventure in English, right? <laughs> Every single time you get into an into an English course, it's like an adventure, a new adventure that we need to go through. Okay. Now, little by little, don't worry because I know you know this information. Okay, and I will switch a little bit into Spanish. Okay, just for a while. Me voy a pasar un ratito al español. No sé si les parece. ¿Me dan permiso? Nada más un par de minutitos. Sí. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitivamente. Definitivamente. No, solo quiero este, socializar un poco lo que tengo acá. Este, así rapidito para no, no invertir mucho tiempo en esto. Yo sé que ustedes ya lo vieron en, en los eh, cursos anteriores, pero a mí siempre me gusta como recordar a, a los participantes de algunas... Eh, puntos muy importantes, como por ejemplo, eh, la necesidad de obtener un 80% en promedio de tareas, evaluaciones y completar, eh, por supuesto, las actividades tanto del curso como, perdón, de, de la plataforma, como también las actividades que yo les asigno, ¿verdad? Tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, ustedes las pueden trabajar justo después de cada clase, o pues en el momento en que estemos interactuando en la clase las pueden ir completando también ustedes buscan como la estrategia más conveniente a su favor todas las, las tareas eh, tienen que estar completadas eh, eh, en este caso sería pues cada jueves porque nosotros eh, tenemos clases de lunes a jueves ¿verdad? Acá, pues, dice viernes, pues, es un error en la presentación. En realidad debería decir jueves. Eh, perdón, diga. Perdón que la interrumpa. Eh, a mí hasta el momento no me han mandado el link de la plataforma. Ah, ok, pero estén pendientes. Ok, esta es la okay. primera semana. Ok, en esta primera semana, pues, ya deberíamos de estar completos con con los enlaces, con la información que les envían los compañeros y ponernos al día, ¿verdad? En caso a, hubiese algún retraso. Este, hay unas fechas límites, como ejemplo, hay un midterm, perdón, hay un midterm, que es un, un examen como a, a la mitad del, del curso. Ok, pues yo esperaría que el miércoles 6 de septiembre ya estuviese culminado, ¿verdad? Todas las actividades, incluyendo ese examen. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final, ustedes lo van a ver allá por la cuarta semana, el 20 de septiembre. Nosotros cerramos el 21 de septiembre, Dios mediante. Hay un manual que ustedes pueden descargar en la plataforma en donde, donde van a encontrar eh, las lecciones, información eh, que pueden este, ir trabajando. Es un PDF que ustedes pueden ir trabajando o, si ustedes también gustan, pueden abrir un documento Word y, e ir trabajando ahí en ese documento Word. Eh, como eh, se menciona en el grupo de WhatsApp, pues es necesario que nosotros visualicemos el nombre eh, completo cuando ustedes estén conectados en la clase. Si por algún motivo usted uh, no puede interactuar utilizando su micrófono, entonces... Incluye la palabra oyente o en inglés listener. Importantísimo tener la cámara encendida, ¿ok? Y tratar de minimizar los sonidos ambientes lo más posible. De manera que podamos estar eh, concentrados los 60 minutos y activos al 100%. ¿Ok? Participación activa es requerida. Ok, la asistencia es sumamente importante. Necesitamos que ustedes um, se conecten de lunes a jueves, 60 minutos, ok, por un periodo de cuatro semanas. La asistencia, pues vamos a tratar de tomarla en dos ocasiones, al inicio y al final. 
eh, necesitamos escucharles que ustedes están conectados y que pues no se han levantado de su silla, ¿verdad? Sino que pues que están atentos a lo que nosotros estamos desarrollando acá. Eh, como ustedes sabrán, en la plataforma ahí van a encontrar pues los contenidos que se abordan acá y este también hay un um, hay un enlace que que los va a llevar a que puedan ver esta esta sesión. Permisos, pues no hay permisos disponibles. Recuérdense que solo tenemos 60 minutos eh, diarios y hay que uh, tomar ventaja de ellos. Contamos con un botón de silencio para no interrumpir cuando yo no estoy um, participando. Recuérdense, la cámara es importante. Tenemos un chat que lo podemos utilizar para beneficio de la clase. Podemos hacer grupos de trabajo. Puede, eh, puede levantar su mano y pedir ayuda en el cualquier momento. Y eso es muy importante, el respeto mutuo. Tanto eh, los participantes entre ustedes mismos. Recuérdense, es sumamente importante apoyarse. Y que, pues, si alguien pues, no, con, no pronunció algo bien, pues eso no tiene, no tiene nada de malo. Eh, o que alguien hizo, se equivocó en algo, pues es parte del proceso. Si todos hablásemos inglés, pues creo que ninguno de nosotros estuviéramos en el curso, ¿verdad? Sino más bien deberíamos de, de apoyarnos. Y el, y el grupo de WhatsApp es como una buena herramienta para que ustedes lo hagan. Si alguien encuentra, digamos, algo importante que quieran compartir en ese grupo, lo pueden hacer. Que ustedes consideren les va a ayudar a los demás, háganlo con total libertad. Las semanas van de la siguiente manera, pues iniciamos ahora del 28 al 31 de agosto con la sección 1 y 2 eh, que vamos a estar desarrollando. Semana 2, del 4 al 7 de septiembre, secciones 3 y tenemos el midterm. Semana 3, que va del 11 al 14, eh, eh, tenemos eh, programada la sección 4. Y la semana 4, que va del 18 al 21, pues tenemos la sección 5 y el examen final. En este curso vamos a tener actividades de escuchar, de hablar, de leer y de escribir o digitar en el caso, ¿verdad? Tenemos actividades individuales, en pareja o grupales. Así que, pues, a grosso modo, he querido introducir el, el nivel del básico 3, módulo 3. Así que, bienvenidos y bienvenidas. Espero que hagamos un buen equipo y que salgamos muy fortalecidos de estas sesiones. Ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Que nuestro inglés vaya eh, mejorando día a día. No sé si hay preguntas... Antes de iniciar, ah, ah, solo voy a hacer un paréntesis, si me escuchan, pues que hablo pues mucho, mucho inglés, pues no se preocupen, porque pues eh, así es, así es esto, ¿verdad? En algún momento voy a hacer algunos paréntesis en español, pero en realidad la clase pues debería ser 100% en inglés. Algunos pues se preocupan al inicio y dicen, uh, wow, no, parece que no estoy en una clase de básico. Eso ya es, se siente como que fuera avanzado. Y entonces algunos pues eh, se sienten un poquito pesadito, pero en realidad si ustedes, si ustedes pudiesen ver la trayectoria que yo tengo respecto a, al aprendizaje del idioma y la experiencia que Dios me ha permitido obtener, se darían cuenta que la mejor manera de aprender un idioma es estar expuesto a él. Es estar expuesto al idioma. Aunque no entendamos todo, pero uh, es importantísimo estar expuestos al idioma. ¿Ok? Así que bienvenidos, bienvenidas. Es un placer. Vamos a dar inicio. Espero que tengan eh, todas sus, sus... lo que necesitan para estar en, en la sesión. Si han tomado un cuadernito o si tienen su laptop por ahí, tienen un documento Word en donde trabajar, está, está perfecto también. 
eh, tengan a la mano su, su celular para estar observando algo ahí en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. De repente compartimos algo y pues hay que estar, hay que tenerlo a la mano. No sé si hay alguien eh, que le gustaría intervenir antes de iniciar con la clase. Pues bienvenido sea. Sí, yo solamente eh, decirle que no sé por qué en, en mi, mi cámara no, no veo que no aparece mi, mi imagen, mi rostro, veo oscuro desde el curso pasado, estoy así, no, no sé cuál es el problema, quizás mañana veré, voy a consultar a ver cómo arreglo eso. De acuerdo. O sea, lo que le quiero decir que no, que no es que me esté escondiendo, sino que no sé cómo configurar esta cosa. De acuerdo, Graciela, no tenga pena, esperamos que ya para el día de mañana lo, lo tenga solucionado. Ok, ¿anybody else? Ok, so we're going to start, people. Ok, uh, well, welcome, I will try to introduce to you the information that you're gonna see in the platform, okay? This is, this is going to be very, very meaningful and it's going to be uh, quite important, okay? We're gonna start with something that everybody knows. This is a hangman, okay? And now, give me, you know the letters in English, right? Do you know the letters in English? Yes. And, yeah, which yeah. this one? A, Z. Now this this is a very common this is a very common uh, game, okay. That's uh that's about the days of the week. You know, it, you, do you do you know the days of the week? Who knows the days of the week? Monday. Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, 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 Friday, 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 Okay, very good. What else? R. I would say R. Oops. No. Oops. Be careful. Be, be H. careful. H. Uh, I would say H. Okay. Oops. R. Oops. R. 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 You. 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 Ah, okay. No. So we're just. A. Is it A? A? No, no. E. 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 Ah, right. E. E S S S D D A Y A Y A Y Very good, excellent. Pretty good. I really like that. Okay, so hey, listen, we're gonna start with the with the platform, okay? Because in the platform, we're gonna we're gonna see some. Uh, this is a platform, okay? And you know, by the end of this class, you will learn how uh, the months and days, okay? Additionally, you will learn to, to you will learn to, to what? Uh, you will learn about birthdays, okay? Birthdays. Okay, now you have the information over here in Spanish, right? This is, this is our lesson objective. We're gonna read the lesson objectives Every single time we get into an activity, we're gonna start by by seeing a video, okay? And in this video, 
we are going to we are going to listen to and we are going to repeat. Now we know the days of the of the week, right? But the months of the year and the and there are some um, we're going to call these uh, ordinal numbers, okay? Ordinal numbers. So are you ready to start? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So listen carefully because later you are going to tell me the way to pronounce them. Okay. So here we go. Good luck. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months. Do you listen to him? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. And dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birthdays. Let's get started by listening and practicing the Listen months and practice, and dates. please. Pronounce practice them. the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Dates. First. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. Sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth. Twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is All right, now you heard about it, right? You heard about it, and let's see. Um, yeah. I, I know I, I have something here that I want to share with you. Okay. And that's, give me a second. I look for it. All right, so I have, you have this manual in the platform, you will see this manual in the, or, or this PDF, okay, which, is, which, which contains the same information that you saw in the video, right? So tell me the, tell me the month, please. January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April, 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 May, 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 May June, 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 July, 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 August, August, September, October, November, November, and December. Right. So we're we're gonna we're gonna try to do it this way. Uh, when I ask you to repeat, uh, cuando, cuando les solicite que, que repitan, eh, cierran sus micrófonos, ok, y lo repiten eh, eh, todos, ok, a manera que, que, que la pronunciación se vaya escuchando con claridad, ok, so, 
Over here, first. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. 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 Fifth. 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 Sixth. Fifth. Sixth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Eighth. 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 Ninth. Ninth. Tenth. 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 Okay, so I want you to notice about the TH at the end, right? So say 11, 11th, 11th, 12th, 12th, 13th, 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 18th, 18th 20th. 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 21st. 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 23rd. 24th. 26th. 26th. 28th. 28th. 30th. 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 Okay, so this is this is gonna be like the first homework for you to solve it for tomorrow, people. Okay, so for tomorrow you're gonna tell me that the I mean the days of the week, the months of the year, and the the ordinal numbers. Okay, up to the thirty first. Esa es tarea, primera tarea. Okay, aprenderse los 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 días de la semana, los meses del año. Y los números ordinales hasta el, el hasta este, el 31st. ¿Ok? Mañana, pues yo lo voy a lo voy a chequear. Ok, so this is the first activity, right? Months and days. Months and days. So, and there's a conversation. Ok, but if we if we if we continue with the video or with the information over here, we're gonna see the guy is presenting something. Something else, let us see. When is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month, plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Finally, we include the date fifth. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the U.S.? Independence Day is on July. El día de independencia es en este 4 de julio. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month, July. And finally, we include the date. The date. Okay, pay attention because I will ask about now your, your... Now your turn, right? Now it's your turn. Well, first I will, I will ask you to give me the... The your birthday, okay. Your birth, according to what you saw, right? You saw the information in which you need to include. Hey, when's your birthday? My birthday is on April the fifth. So you're gonna you're gonna tell me your birthday. Okay, you are going to type your, your birth date in the in the chat. It will be all right. Me van a decir la fecha de su cumpleaños en inglés. Y la van a incluir en el chat, ¿ok? Para que la veamos. Ok, I will start one by one. Armando. 
when's my, your when's your birthday, Armando? My birthday is on January fifteenth. Excellent. Type it in the chat, please. Imelda, when is your birthday? <clears throat> Think about it. Okay. My birthday is, you say on, you mentioned the month and the, and the specific date. Pretty good people. Diana's birthday, for example, is on November the 20th. Armando's birthday is on January the 13th. All right. Okay, everybody, do me the favor to type your, your birthday in the chat. Let me see, I will ask some people over here. Elsa Noelia, can you please le let us know about your birthday? When's your birthday, Elsa? I can see Blanca, Blanca, okay, that's better, right? Blanca says, my birthday is on June the 9th. Hello. Hello. My birthday is on February 1st. Excellent, pretty good, February the 1st, excellent. Wilfredo, when's your birthday? My birthday is on December 21st. The 21st, good. Rommel, when's your birthday? My birthday is on February 10th. February the 10th, good. Wilfredo, when's your birthday? My birthday is on December 21st. On December the 21st, good. Pretty good, people. Now, people are chatting live. For example, Kenny's birthday is on January the 23rd. Ah, I, I will explain that just right now. Okay, because, you know, oh, let me see, where's the chat? When you say uh, 21st, you say 21st, look at the chat, please. 22nd and 23rd. Okay, that's the way it should be done. Pretty good. Now, Let's see. Now you have first humble, right? Fair humble is about about uh, telling us uh, the, the 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 days of the week, the months of the year. Okay. Excellent. Marisol's birthday is on December the twenty second, right? Twenty second. Good. Pretty good, people. Now, now we saw the first part over here. Now, presenting dates in, in English. Okay, now I have something else in here. Uh, do me the favor to investigate about New Year, New Year's Day. When is it? Tell me, tell me. I have a question. Tell me the question. When is your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Diana, right? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, my, my birthday is on November the 5th. It's, I will type it over there, okay? There you are. It's on November the 5th. That's my birthday. Okay, now. Do me the favor to investigate for tomorrow, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, and Christmas. Okay? Do me the favor to investigate about those dates. New Year, hey, when's New Year's Day? Uh, 31st. Uh, is January? It's January 1st. New, New Year's Day? It's on January the 1st. January the 1st. Ja uh, Valentine's Day? February. February 14th. It's on, on February, February 14th. The 14th. Independence Day? September. 
September 15th. Christmas. December. December 25th. December the 25th. 25th. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, I like that. Example, New Year's Day. Now, we're going to try to continue because, you know, we we are we're going to be working um deeply on it, but we need to advance at the same time. Okay? You know, we have some we're going to study like the expressions with uh using be going to, okay? And this is an expression that we used to talk about future. Okay? You, you are going to practice a, a conversation just right now in which uh, plans are included there. You will see. Okay, look at it. Now we saw months and dates, right? So now you're in church of learning them by heart. Then we have we have the other uh, objective and we finally got into the conversation. In this conversation, we're going to practice a little bit so that we Hi everyone. Um, in this class you learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to additionally you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's get started by listening to a conversation titled happy birthday let's listen Listen and repeat, okay? Remember to close your microphones so that we can listen to uh, the conversation clearly. And practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the example. The example to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, everybody, do me the favor to repeat after me. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, well, well I'm, I'm going, going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? According to my birthday, it's your birthday. It's August 9th, Sunday. It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. My friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and, and the waiter are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's embarrassing. Yeah. 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 And the waiter are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's embarrassing. Okay, very good. Now we're going to see the grammar. And in the grammar that we have with the be going to, we have, you know, the verb to be, you know, perfectly about the verb to be, right? So the verb to be is about am, um, is, are. Um, when I say verb to be, I say am, um, is, and are. Okay? That's the verb to be. Verb to be. This is a verb to be. In prison, right? So that's why we have some questions. So here, like, are you going to do anything this week? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. And the, the next one is, is, is Kyla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. 
or she's going to invite all my friends. Or no, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. And finally, we have, are the winners going to sing to you? And the answer is, yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. Or no, they aren't, but they're going to give me a cake. Actually, this is, this is quite simple, right? So as you can see, let me see if I encounter the, the, the structure. We're gonna see that, yeah. As you, we're gonna listen to from from here, okay. Subject verb going to plus a uh, complement. Listen, Subject please. Plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment. All my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with friends. Let me show you how to form. Okay, now as you can see, uh, the, the, the grammar and future will be going to be formed by using subject, right? Uh, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Then we have the verb to be. Um, is, are. Then we're going to have going to, then we're going to have a verb, celebrate, study, write, type, uh, say, etc. And a compliment, my birthday in this case. Okay, so it's very simple, right? To see like the usage of uh, the be going to structure. Okay, when talking about questions, okay, you will notice that the verb to be comes at the beginning. Now, listen to him. The subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a compliment. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the example towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are, the subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you. And okay, now. I will pause it because of the time now, but uh, as you can see, we have questions, we have positive statements, we have negative statements with this, with this grammar, with be going to. That is our topic. So what are you going to do for tomorrow? Now, first homework, you know, right? La primera tarea, 
Ya la tenemos clara, ¿sí? Meses del año en inglés, números ordinales para decir las fechas. ¿Ok? Eso está, está muy, muy, muy bonito para iniciar. Luego, también voy a solicitar que me digan por lo menos unas dos, tres oraciones el día de mañana de lo que ustedes piensan hacer para el día de su cumpleaños. ¿Ok? All right. All right. Okay, so. Three, three will be all right. Tres podría, podría ser. Tres oraciones. Okay. No more than that. So we're going to check this. Vamos a, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Okay. Listen to the interview. And what are these people going to do? So we're going to listen to and then you're going to tell me the answer. Escuchemos. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. That's Michelle, right? And Michelle. what's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Are you so going you. home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Robert. So Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party. But I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And we finally have... And what's your name? I'm Jane. Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. All right, so let us see if you got the message. Michelle is going to the gym, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, or go shopping. Meet a friend. Meet a friend. Uh, she's going to meet a friend. Yes. Okay, we're going to yeah. check it later. Kevin is going to play video games, listen to music, go dancing, or games. go for a walk. Play video games. Play video games. Uh, Kevin is going to play video games. Number three, Robert is going to... Read, oh, work at home, wake up, blue Work at home. And he's gonna he's gonna work, work at, at home. home. All right. Number four, Jane is going to go dancing, see a movie, go Listen to a party. Listen, oh. Listen, Listen to music. music. Listen Listen music. music. To All right. Let's see if we got it. We're gonna see the answers. We're gonna see the answers. Pretty good, eh? You did it, people. Excellent job. Great job. That's simple, right? Be going to it is quite simple. I think there is no any, any problem, any, any problem with it, right? So now we got it. And you know, we have like the pronunciation of it, right? Pronunciation of it. In this, where we're gonna see only the video and then we're gonna say goodbye because you will know we only have one hour. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Listen. Are you gonna have a party? No. Gonna. I'm gonna go out with a friend. Gonna go out. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Are you going to go yes. to a restaurant? we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in the previous cafe. class, in which I talked about pronunciation, 
Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. All right. Hi, everyone. All right. So I will stop over here. So because, you know, the time goes so fast that we actually uh, have almost finished our first class. I will, I will check list attendance, okay? Mientras eh, paso la lista, okay, me gustaría escuchar algunas reacciones de ustedes. El tema que estudiamos esta noche fue going to. Meses del año, okay, días de la semana, los números ordinales, um, y going to. Okay. En una hora abordamos pues eh, temas muy, muy, muy significativos y eh, básicos. Ok. So, um, voy a pasar lista y vamos cerrando con nuestra primera sesión. Ok. okay let's see. Graciela? Present teacher. Okay, Jeremy? Antonio? Stephanie? Blanca Stephanie, right? Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Aníbal? I'm here. Cecia Gemina? I'm here, teacher. Diana Patricia? I'm here, teacher. Elmer Alexander. Here, teacher. Uh, Elsa Noelia. I'm here. Floricia. Present, teacher. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Jaime Ivan. I am here, teacher. Hey, Karina. Hey, same. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Kenny. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Maria, uh, Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Nelson uh, Rutilio, right? Present teacher. Romel. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Wilfredo. I hear the show. Excellent. Uh, la verdad, pues, los teacher. quiero... Fe... Dígame. You don't mention me. Uh, yeah. What's your name? Armando Albanés. Armando Albanés. Uh, yes. an... Yeah, Armando Antonio Albanés. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't mention you. Okay. Nuestra primera, nuestro primer encuentro prácticamente ha culminado. El día de mañana... Seguiremos con nuestro trabajo en el aprendizaje del idioma inglés. Les invito a practicar lo que vimos esta noche y el día de mañana, pues, eh, ya estén preparados con las dos tareas que se les asignaron, ¿ok? Así que, pues, ha sido un placer eh, verlos, conocerlos y el día de mañana continuamos. ¿Les parece? Ok. Yeah. Ok. okay. Yes. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Finish. <risa> no yet. <risa> Nos dejaron en clase. It's 60 minutes. <risa> Three minutes. Left. <risa> The new teacher is faster. <risa> Se fue el teacher. Es de Fast and Furious. He's gonna go to bed. Hablemos de la novela entonces. Ya enviaron el link a la plataforma, al grupo, el... perdón. Es el mismo de la, de la anterior. El mismo. Es la plataforma el ah, mismo, lo que entras al tercero. El mismo. Ajá, solo es eh, inglés um, corporativo.net. Lo que le quería preguntar al teacher es si él sabía algo sobre los, los ¿cómo se llama? Los, los diplomas. Los diplomas en la porque a mí ninguno me han mandado. Sí, pero y a mí. No fue rápido. El, el segundo <ríe> diploma, a mí este, ahí en, el, en la plataforma lo subieron. Pero el segundo, el primero sí, el un link enviado. ¿En qué parte? ¿En qué parte, qué parte de la, de la plataforma, plataforma sale? Este, ahí en el segundo nivel dice, este, usted entra al, al link, ¿verdad? Y, Estamos y a la plataforma dice, normal. Sí, entra a la plataforma normal. Ah, como de ahí, que en, en, qué, en, qué, ¿en qué sección está? Ahí lo resaltan con otro color y dice aquí, este, puedes ver tu diploma y ah, le da el, o sea que... el primer uh -huh. módulo no lo mandaron verdad el primer módulo lo enviaron con un link 